Hey everybody, Jason again. Um, I get asked quite a lot, you know, how much cardio should I do to, to burn fat and lose weight? And my answer is, don't waste your time, don't do any. Um, now go, don't get me wrong, uh, I'm not saying yeah, don't do any cardio at all. Um, there's just a lot more effective ways you can actually burn off fats. Now, to give you an example, if you enjoy going on the treadmill, which I don't know anywhere that does, but if you enjoy it or being on the bicycle or the elliptical trainer or the rower, um, as long as you, you're moving on that treadmill or bicycle, you're burning calories. As soon as you step off, okay, you stop burning calories. Yes, it is going to help you, you know, get fitter, increase your cardiovascular fitness, um, but you stop burning calories as soon as you climb off that machine. Uh, so what you need to be doing is doing weight training uh, and interval training. So if you still, if, like I said, if you enjoy doing cardio, try and stay away from what we call LSD training, long, slow distances. Rather do short, sharp bursts. And to give you an example of that is, you know, have you ever seen a fat sprinter? Uh, no. And they don't do any long distances. It actually works against their training if they do do long distances because then they start working slow twitch fibers. So they just do short, sharp bursts, okay, and that's all they need. And you can go look at any sprinter's body and their physique, kind of absolutely amazing, and very little fat in their bodies. So, like I said, if you are going to carry on doing cardio, try and do doing interval training. There's various ways you can do that. I'll discuss those those ways in different videos. Um, but yeah, do you know interval training as opposed to long, slow distances? I mean, like I said, if you enjoy doing these long runs, long cycles, by all means, go ahead and do it. Um, but if you're looking for fast and effective fat loss and weight loss then yes interval training has looked a little bit better actually a lot better um, so what is more effective than cardio like I said it's your, your weight training or resistance training um, you can do this with basically just your own body weight you can do it with little dumbbells um, and also what a lot of people tend to do is they just do one body part at a time so they'll just be doing you know a shoulder press or a bicep curl that is not going to be you know at all effective if you're trying to trying to burn fat and lose weight you need to do compound movements. Um, so what is a compound movement? It's where you're using more more than one joint at a time. So doing a, a squat, okay, obviously you're using the ankles, you're using the knee, you're using your hips, uh, and you can complement that by doing a shoulder press at the same time. So squatting, coming up and doing a shoulder press, squatting, coming up, doing a bicep curl, uh, lunging, lunging and pressing, lunging and twisting. So there's various ways you can actually actually do that and obviously the more muscles you're recruiting the more calories you're burning okay and the good thing with doing weight training is while you're doing it yes you are burning calories and when you stop the weight training you know you finish your session you're still burning calories because of your increased metabolic rate your body having to repair itself all that is going to increase how many calories you're burning a day so in summary if you enjoy doing your long slow distances cardio by all means go ahead the more effective way of doing it is a short sharp bursts of interval training but by and large the best way and the most effective way to lose lose body fat and get fitter is doing your compound resistance training right till next time stay sexy